I'm so used to telling people, why yes, that is the Nintendo Company Book 2017. I'm glad you noticed. Uh, so this is a very unique thing I own. Uh, I got this on eBay probably like two years ago uh, just because I saw it for sale and I was like, you know what? I want that. Um, so uh, generally every year, Nintendo uh, has these new books made, uh, Nintendo in Japan. Um, and these are made for potential employees, I guess, to just kind of show them like what the company's all about. Uh, and just kind of like every, every single book is different. You know, they all have a different style. And the thing about these books is that they have crazy designs. Like these are such well laid out books with some amazing art that's only exclusive to these books. And they're pretty much only exclusive to Japan for potential future employees of Nintendo in Japan. So like if you go there for like a job interview, then you could probably leave with one of these books and then you know you kind of get a good idea of what Nintendo's all about. Then again, I don't really know why you'd uh, apply to work at Nintendo if you didn't know what Nintendo was all about. But this was for 2017. I believe the, these are generally issued out near the beginning of the year. So this was probably around March of 2017. Because uh, from what I saw, this kind of focuses on a bit of, you know, 2016, but also kind of like the stuff that was um, that was revealed for the Switch around January of 2017. So you have, you know, some Breath of the Wild stuff, some Splatoon stuff, ARM stuff. Um, to be fair, this might be later in 2017. Regardless, it, it, it kind of covers a lot of like what Nintendo was all about in 2017. So uh, as we can see here... Um, there's some, uh, rough designs there. I see an inkling, um, let me see, I'm trying, I'm trying to make it out. It, it's a bit difficult. There's Mario, uh, there's Link. Um, it's a bit hard to make out, but, uh, they're all there. And then we have Mario's footprints. Um, just opening this up. Uh, there's a bunch of designs that are a bit hard to make out, but I'm, I'm seeing, uh, there's... Link from Breath of the Wild. There's an Inkling from Splatoon. Uh, there's the Splatoon 2 logo. A lot of this is like, uh, there's a lot of concept art in this stuff. And oh no, is this like, is it supposed to look like that? Or did this kind of like break slightly? Oh well. <laughs> Either way, that makes it slightly easier to <laughs> to take the part. Uh, Mario's footsteps there. Uh, the Nintendo Frontier. Um, so that reminds me of... This Mario model looks similar to... Uh, there was an amazing commercial for Super Mario Run, the I, the uh, the mobile app. And uh, it, it had like all these people running around with this amazing remix of, uh, of Mario music in the background that it just felt so epic and just like this amazing moment. It, it, it truly felt like Nintendo was building up to that moment because, you know, all the, so many people were always like, oh, why are you gonna, when are you gonna put Mario on, uh, on smartphones? And, uh, and they finally did it. And, um, you know, it happened. Uh, I actually really did enjoy Mario Run um, for what it was. I, I, I did enjoy it quite a bit, um, but that commercial was so damn good. And they had like, uh, at the very end, they had a, uh, a CGI Mario running, running towards a, a goalpost, I believe, in New York City, and uh, and that kind of reminds me of that. It doesn't really look like like Mario Odyssey Mario. Uh, there's an inkling from Splatoon. Uh, I feel like a lot of this was designed specifically for the company book. Obviously, I don't really imagine this being like concept art. The 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 inkling squid itself could have been concept art, and then they just kind of like laid it over. Uh, this water. And Pikmin. You gotta have Pikmin in your Nintendo Company Book 2017. Uh, the Nintendo Difference. So this this seems like it's a bit of a reference to uh, Toast Arena in Mario Odyssey, but this could just be the fact that you know, they're just kind of putting Nintendo characters in kind of like uh, very drastic weather conditions, I guess. Um, a lot of text I can't read, but I assume... This was all said by uh, the Nintendo president at the time, uh, Tatsumi Kimishima. Um, so, let's see. There's Breath of the Wild link. Uh, that's the Breath of the Wild. And this is a crazy, this, this looks crazy. 
just the fact that like it, it's absolutely insane because like this like this art was obviously not made specifically for this background but they make it work so well it's it's incredible oh, captain toad I'm just climbing so yeah pretty much they're just taking art and uh putting uh, putting their nintendo characters in, in very uh in in very epic scenarios where they're where they're facing against like very tough challenges which is neat there's mario and luigi and what's uh there's something there i can't really make it out but there is something i love i love this so we have a a product a product catalog or just kind of showing the history of nintendo products so Start out with uh, Hanafuda cards, and then move on to playing cards. The Ultra Hand. Uh, the Ultra Machine, which I do own one, and uh, and I did get it to work. That was in the uh, Nintendo Before Video Games episode of Scott the Waz, which I always still really do like that episode, because uh, it, it was just such a... It's, it's such an interesting thing, because um, you can look back at this era of Nintendo, and you can still kind of feel... like These still feel like Nintendo products, they kind of have that that funky just feel to them where it's just like they like it's only stuff they would have thought of um which is really cool and the ultra machine like it still works and uh it's still it's still pretty good for what it is um it's basically like an automatic pitching machine for uh or you have like this miniature baseball bat and uh and the things it throws are pretty much like ping pong balls that are kind of molded to look more like baseballs uh, Love Tester, uh, Electro Poker, which I'm not as familiar with in terms of, uh, Nintendo, Nintendo toys, uh, Laser Gun Custom, so, like, yeah, they used to do, um, gun toys, where they would show, like, a light on the wall, you would project a light onto the wall, and then you'd, uh, try to shoot it with, uh, with a toy gun, and obviously that kind of evolved into, uh, light gun games on the NES. Uh, TV Game 15, which was a Pong console. And then 10 billion, which is another toy, which I'm not familiar with really. Uh, the Game & Watch, Donkey Kong, Game & Watch Multi-Screen, then the Famicom, Game Boy, Super Famicom, uh, Virtual Boy, Nintendo 64, Game Boy Advance, uh, GameCube, DS, Wii, 3DS, Wii U, and then 2017. Um, it's really cool to see just like it's really cool to see Nintendo lay it all out, out like this and also kind of uh see what things they decided to uh not include, you know, like stuff uh you know, there's tons of toys they made that they uh that they just didn't include, but uh you know, technically they could have you know, I'm still very adamant they can you they can put the Game Boy color here and it would be fine, but apparently whatever. Here we are with the <laughs> With the with the switch, there's Joy-Con kind of built to look like a spaceship, and the switch in space, then a switch dock on the moon. Uh, <laughs> so this is kind of like a uh, a collage of pretty much kind of the games that uh are kind of relevant at the moment at the time of this uh this books this books release i just want to make sure i'm not like damaging uh damaging this book too much or anything because these are kind of expensive i don't remember what i paid for this but it's probably embarrassing um generally like i, I kind of looked up one of them online and like, uh, like generally maybe like a hundred bucks i i feel like i maybe paid like 60 for this or something again i'm not proud of it but i like this uh, so Switch, which is actually interesting because uh, Nintendo, it, it's one of those things where um, Nintendo, I, I don't usually see them just refer to the Nintendo Switch as Switch. Uh, they generally always refer to it as Nintendo Switch. So to see them just call it Switch is uh, it's interesting. Splatoon 2, Arms, Breath of the Wild, uh, Nintendo Classic Mini, uh, Family Computer, um amiibo and super mario run so these were kind of the relevant products at the time of uh the time of this release so this i love this <laughs> so they show uh they show one two switch shots pretty much like the, these were like actors that they hired for one two switch and they're in front of a green screen and i'm not really sure if these these people were specifically used in 
one two switch promotional art or specifically with a you know like in one two switch you see videos of people playing the games i'm not sure if these people specifically made it in but to see that they potentially used such a crummy just green screen like this is really reassuring when uh when i actually use my own green screen because i'm like hey even nintendo just throws it up on the wall and uh and that's it i don't know i i don't know if this is like true to uh how they actually produce those those uh little short videos in one two switch because those short videos were very well produced say what you will about one two switch but they they, they worked hard on those videos um so i'm not sure if uh this is uh indicative of how it was specifically made um here's just some switch related stuff you see like the inside of a joy con there uh, some product boxes all that stuff joy con controllers um I'm not sure if those are like prototype designs or what. Like over here, they might be like, you can at least tell like that. That's at least probably a prototype design because that's just a fully black Joy-Con. We have Splatoon 2. Uh, this is definitely uh, development members or the development team of Splatoon 2. Just kind of like plastered all around the place alongside some concept art and then breath of the wild some early art of link there that was like a that was like a major moment in the trailer um because i remember when the switch presentation 2017 happened um and it ended with the breath of the wild trailer which is in my opinion one of the greatest trailers of all time the breath of the wild nintendo switch presentation trailer was amazing um and just this uh you know we already knew voice acting was, was in the game at least a little bit of it um but this trailer basically showed fully that voice acting was in the game and uh and the fact that you know Z uh, zelda was voiced and all these other characters were voiced um of course if you watch the nintendo switch presentation 2017 live um it was all in japanese and they had like um they had subtitles or they had uh, they had like members of Nintendo of America dubbing over the um, the presentation live for for the American audiences. But the Breath of the Wild trailer was in Japanese, but with subtitles. And Zelda's scream, in, like Zelda's crying in Japanese, is so powerful. Like it's so just like she is distraught in that version. Um, and in and in uh, the English version, it's more of like a whimper. It's more of like a, oh, and then she just kind of like falls in Link's uh, Link's lap. Uh, here, she's just bawling, and it was that that was like, woof, that was like, wow, this game means business. Uh, one two switch. I like I like this. Uh, I like this design. It looks really cool. Um, I think the idea of one two switch was kind of cool. The idea that uh. Oh, instead of playing the game, you know, why not, you know, playing the game, everybody looking at the screen, why not everybody look at each other? Um, I think the concept is kind of neat, and I appreciate that they were trying something different, but uh, it just wasn't fleshed out enough. Like, they, they could they could have probably done, like, so much more with that, but they, uh, but they didn't. Uh, Super Mario Run. As I previously stated, I am a Super Mario Run aficionado, as in I liked it. Uh, but it's really cool to see concept art for this. Especially considering, like, this game will probably not exist in about 10 years. They'll probably take it down. Um, because it's an online-only game. But, uh, you know, it's cool to see just, like, remnants of it here. And I say it as in, like, oh, man, I can't play it right now. Like, I can, I can easily play it right now. But, um, just seeing, like, all these different development sketches. Like I said, I enjoyed Mario Run. Um, thought it was a fun, I thought it was a fun mobile game, but, uh, it obviously did not catch on like they wanted it to. Arms? No? Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the few ones to get a, a fold out here. I love everything about Arms except the gameplay. <laughs> um, I think it's okay. Arms is okay, but, um, I just felt like... It was one of those games that Nintendo did that, uh, you know, and they do this a lot with, like, Switch games, and a few, they did it with a few Wii U games, but um, they kind of did this thing where they release a game that is very, very lacking in content, 
and they just expect like, oh, well, you know, it's a fighting game, so you're going to play it online a lot, so who cares if it's lacking characters? Oh, you know, it's a multiplayer online, it's a multiplayer shooter, like Splatoon, you know, you're going to play it online. Who cares if there's not a ton of maps at first and all that? Um, or stuff like Animal Crossing, like, oh, man, you know, you're going to come back to it every day, and you're just going to do the same thing over and over again, and it's a slow burn, so it's just like, who cares if, uh, you know, you're lacking content that's al always been in Animal Crossing? They did it with Mario Tennis Aces, where it's just like, ah, oh, you know, it's a multiplayer game, you know, you're going to play it online, so who cares if there's a lack of content? You know, you get your replay value out of that. I don't like that, um, <laughs> because I buy the game, and I like it, but then I don't feel a desire to play it more, and by the time, uh, because, like, there's not enough content at launch, and by the time they actually start to add content, I've moved on from it, you know, I'm not interested, and I know the entire point of them adding content is to, um is to draw me back in but it's kind of like one of those things where when i'm done with a game i'm kind of i'm kind of done with it you know um let's see it seems like uh this seems like they're putting together the uh the famicom mini like that's the shells for the because the famicom mini the controllers are also very tiny um here in north america with the nes classic edition the controller is pretty much the exact same as the original well, the Famicom Mini, the controller, is actually, like, a tiny version of it. Then we have a lot of development stuff. Um, I love I love seeing inside Nintendo. This is so cool. Uh, because they don't show inside the, in, like, inside development stuff that much. So it's really cool to just see. That looks like a, a, a Switch in, in production there. It's pretty cool. Like, they're testing a Switch there, I assume. Um, there's, like, Link on a loft wing. Uh, they're putting together Amiibo. There's, like, the Pokemon Go Plus. Uh, there's a little sketch of Mario. Uh, quote from Miyamoto. There's the Nintendo building. Putting smiles on the faces of everyone Nintendo touches. Well, uh, and then this is more so like uh, this is kind of like the information that you actually would probably need if you were trying to get a job at Nintendo. Just a lot of like uh, information, like Nintendo of America's address, Nintendo of, Euro of Europe's address, stuff like that. Um, and then financial results, which is uh, kind of like a. Uh, it's actually really interesting to see this because they kind of go like year by year. You can see a huge spike. In, uh, in like 2008, 2009, during the Wii era. And then, as soon as the Wii U came out, my god. Um, the history of Nintendo, all in Japanese, but uh, you can kinda, you can kinda get a, a decent idea of what's going on, because some of these are in English. Um, but then we also have a, they're pretty much the same thing they uh they showed on the on that previous page. Uh and yeah. I can't really gain much from this info. Sad, but uh you know. I like the pretty pictures though. And it's a little map. It's a little map of Nintendo. Which is cool. And then we have uh, one last page of concept art. Some arm stuff and uh, Mario stuff. It's uh, it's the Nintendo Company book from 2017. Uh, I love this kind of stuff. This is this is like super cool to look through. Um, it just it, it doesn't even really feel like something that Nintendo wants you to see. This is more so for employees. Um, and it's really interesting. They put so much work into this when they really didn't need to. Like what? Like, was there any real point to that? But uh, but they did it anyways, and I, and I can really appreciate that kind of stuff. Especially that. 